Today I want to share with you a super easy DIY project. I picked up both of these picture frames from the store called At Home. They were originally $30 each, but there was a huge clearance section of pictures, and I got both of these for $15 total. So I thought it would be fun to do a DIY project on these. So let's get started. First, I am painting both of these Pure White by Sherwin-Williams in a matte finish. I really wanted these pictures to have a matte finish when I was done with them. Now honestly, you won't be able to see this base coat, but I like starting with a blank slate. And this color is what I have on the walls in my home, so I already had it. I did not need to go buy it. I did paint all the sides of the pictures white as well. I wasn't sure what I was going to do with the sides. My husband has built me a frame for some DIY pictures before, and maybe down the road I might have him do that, but for now I wasn't sure where these were gonna go. I had so many places in my mind where I could put these, so I just covered everything white. Next, we're going to take joint compound, and you can also use spackling for this as well. I had two different size of putty knives, and honestly, which putty knife you use will kind of determine how your picture is going to look in the end. So the first thing that I did was cover all of the picture with the joint compound, and as I'm spreading it on, I'm going different directions. I had a few swirls in there, but honestly, it's what you do in the end that matters. So this first step, just make sure to get your entire picture covered. I actually really like these big swoopy lines that I'm doing right here and I think maybe when I do a future canvas painting project I may do just these more simple straight swirly lines honestly you can do whatever you want and that is the fun with these projects you can do something simple you can do something more complex with a lot of texture which is what mine will look like in the end but really there is no right way or wrong way to do this and you can create it how you want to. So as you can see, I'm using different parts of the putty knife to create different textures throughout the canvas. And the nice thing about it is if you don't like something, you can just swipe right over it like I do right here and just start right over in that spot. Now, I did have someone tell me that there is joint compound that dries in 20 minutes. Maybe next time I'll try that. These did have to dry overnight. They took a good almost 24 hours to completely dry. The joint compound does make the canvas a bit heavier but these are not quality pictures and they are still holding up great but just something to keep in mind. I did use quite a bit of joint compound for this project, so just make sure you had enough. I actually ran out halfway through this second picture and I had to go get more, which is why some of it looks lighter. It was a different brand and kind, but that's okay. I still tried to make this second picture look similar to the first in some of the techniques that I did, but I still wanted it to be unique, so I made sure that some of the things that I did were a little bit different.
as the joint compound starts to dry it will turn more of a whiter color so you can see the spots where it's starting to dry but it did take a long time so the next day once they were all dry I came back and put on a coat of my pure white color you can see the difference between the white and the color that the joint compound is honestly the joint compound is a really pretty taupey gray color and I was honestly tempted to just leave it as is because I thought that with a beautiful wood frame would look amazing but I had something in mind so I had to keep going so I covered both of the pictures completely with the pure white Next, I took some chalk paint, and I didn't really like this super dark brown color, so I mixed just some of my pure white with it, and I mixed a lot because it was way darker than I wanted it to be. I will link in the description below some of the colors that I think would look really good with this, but I knew kind of in my mind what I wanted to do. Honestly, you could do so many things. You could do different splotches on different areas. If you had two pictures like this, you could do a vertical where one half is on the left side that's colored and the other half on the right side is colored. You could do like a hill scene, a mountain scene, you could put trees on it. There are just so many fun options with these and I already have ideas for future projects. But for this one, I kept it pretty simple. I made sure the entire middle was covered and on the outer edges, I just wanted it to look like that ripped paper just brush strokes coming off of the edges so that's what I did for both pictures but I also tried to keep both of them unique so they each look just a little bit different So I am going to try to do a faux frame around the edges. I am just going to take this black. This is Tricorn Black by Sherwin-Williams. I had it left over from a different project and I just painted the edges black. You could do gold, you could do a silver, you could try to do a faux wood effect. There's so many options. Honestly, I will probably build a wood frame in the future, but like I said, I was not sure where these were going and I wanted to make this really easy so that if you don't have the tools to make a wood frame you would have this other option that you could play around with and still have something that looks amazing in the end. The last thing that I did was just do some touch-ups to the top where some black got on it. If you were to spray paint, you would definitely want to try to tape off the edges of the top of the picture so the spray paint wouldn't get up there, but I had no problem just doing a few little touch-ups. And then after this, I let it dry for a few hours and then I was ready to hang them up. I decided to use command strips for these instead of putting nails in my wall just in case I wanted to add a frame later or change up anything. Command strips make it super easy to be able to take them off the wall. I used a small level just to make sure that the pictures were level before I pushed the command strips into the wall. I found the perfect spot for these upstairs. I love this little corner for them. I actually have no artwork upstairs yet. so. So 
this was the perfect spot for them. You can see them coming down the hallway from our master bedroom, which I absolutely love. And you can see them coming around the corner from the girls' room and the guest bedroom. And I just love them here. I think they add a nice touch. Thank you for joining me today. I am so glad that you came along with me for this fun DIY project. You will have to let me know in the comments below if you try this out. It was a lot of fun or what your favorite DIY project is. I can't wait to see you back here soon.